We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the San Francisco 49ers and the Arizona Cardinals. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. On second down, it's Coleman. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. He finds Corey Davis, and he is out of bounds inside the 35. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First down, 49ers. Here we go, here we go. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 34. Garoppolo. Completes it to Davis. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. On first down, it's Coleman. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second and ten at the Cardinals 20-yard line. Here we go. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Here, go, here, here comes go. the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Escaping the pressure. And now Garoppolo lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and, in this case, lose the football? So Should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. A game of four. 
I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Let's go, D. It's going to be a long day on this. To throw on second and six, Murray. Polluting the pressure right. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. Now a handoff looking right. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Cut, cut, cut. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. <laughs> Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Now a first down throw complete downfield. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big time play there by the Cardinals. 43 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Check, check, check. And now he'll tuck it and run. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. We're scoreless after one. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. On third and short to give it a tight end. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Max Williams, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the 5. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line.
Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Second and 11 now. Garoppolo. That's caught. It's Coleman. It's a gain of six on the play. And just like that, it's third down. And a nice gain and a, and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Garoppolo. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put them on the ground. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice. It all came together, but I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. First down, here's White. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There was absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now they'll run it on the toss. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it that's going to be 15 yards. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Let's put them on the buses. Let's put that team on the bus. Let's go, let's go. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Let's go, defense. Hey, man up, D. Man up. Murray now on first down. Flush to his right. This one complete to Christian Kirk. Give him nine there on the first down completion. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Mike, 56, right there, right there, 56. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you. 22, Jack, cover. 22, Jack, cover. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Yahoo! 
Murray going to try to throw on third down. It's complete. James White. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. 56, Mike, 56, right there, right there. Murray now on first down. He's got White here. I call it no gain there on the first down play. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now Murray throwing on second down. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Brings up third and five. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Play action. Now it's Murray. Throwing right, and that's complete. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And Gonzalez puts this one through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. They've gone to the second quarter now in Denver. The Broncos have taken the early go, lead. Go, go. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. One, Omaha. Garoppolo now. First down throw. Flushed out right. On the run. He'll let this go deep right side. Into double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. After the turnover, here's Murray. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried his dress rehearsal into the game. You know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. First down, Murray. He finds his man, Johnson. And he'll get it down here to the 43. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. 
So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on Let's first go down. Let's go, defense. Murray to air it out again. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And that makes our score 17-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the 6. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here we go, here we go. The 49er hey, hey, hey. offense set to get this drive underway. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Here's Garoppolo on first and ten. In the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Murray off play action. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Jordan. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. A gain of six there on first. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Made his first, this now from 42. Oh, they get to the football, it's blocked. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And this will be a touchback as that sails go, over the end line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them.
49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And some room to work. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They come out here in the eye. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Penny will try to punch it in. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 180. Ain't no such thing as a loss. We taking wins home. And the drive starts with a handoff to Coleman. And this is going to double their room to maneuver, able to get it from the 5 to the 10-yard line. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Second and five now. Garoppolo, he's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe you want to look at some safer record. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 28, and he'll bring it back to the 9-yard line. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. Watch the They'll start out here with a jet sweep, and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. On second down, here's Murray. Escaping the pressure right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Mike Williams, his first touchdown on the year. And the Cards use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And the lead is now 24. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here we go, here we go, the 49er go. offense set to get this drive underway. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy 
who can make a play against all go, odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Here we go. What do you need? Working from the gun, Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. This go, offense go, in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo, eluding the pressure right. He's got his man, that's Wallace. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Here we go, here we go. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and ten. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. So this is what happens when you throw interceptions. That confident veneer that you have can shift away a little bit. Maybe a little bit gun-shy throwing it around. Yeah, under-throwing him there, and you're right. Those interceptions may be in the back of his mind. To throw once more on second and ten. Garoppolo dancing to his left. And that is incomplete here. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 30. Here we go, here we go. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. To throw again on second down. Garoppolo got his man there. It's Wallace complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 17. He's got daylight. 30, 10, 5. And he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals! That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here we go, here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And, okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. 
One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Here we go, a here critical we go. one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Garoppolo now. And this is incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. Then the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. He's coming. Double up, double up. Now Rashad Penny. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. You can't block me. Throwing on second down, Murray. It's complete to Williams. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Watch the run, watch the run. Second down, Murray sets to throw. Flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Nick Bosa has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Murray with a third and long. Flushed out right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. On fourth down, here's Zane Gonzalez for the Cardinal field goal. This from 54 yards away. And this one is right down the middle. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, so they held them to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 40. And they are going to set up shot at the 40-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur. Once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit, but as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. 
That goes for 14 yards. First down, Cardinals. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On second down, they'll run with White. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. And remember, he had one blocked earlier. And his kick is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. 37, 49ers now. 